Welcome back. We are in a bilinear transform, which was a digital filter design. Okay, and especially we learned analog Butterworth filter. Now we are going to convert analog Butterworth filter to digital filter Butterworth filter. So one small uh, simple problem I would like to do. Uh, H of S is equal to minus three divided by S plus three. Assume that you are having a simple problem like this. The question will be convert to digital filter using bilinear transform. Okay. So usually the sampling time period at t they want to mention 99 percent is they want to mention. If that is the case, you should take capital T is equal to one. If they mention, you take that value. Nothing else. So convert using a bilinear transform. So H of S is given. I need H of Z. Okay. How to convert to H of Z? So what is the formula? S is equal to 2 by t into 1 minus z inverse by 1 plus z inverse. I told you t value they want to mention, then you should take it as 1. Sometimes they will mention t is equal to 0.5. Okay, you take accordingly. So now replace s by this formula. That's what this was the formula we derived. Replace s by this formula. Then if you replace minus 3 divided by 2 into 1 minus z inverse by 1 plus z inverse plus 3, then t value will be 1. Since it is in terms of S, H of S, now it is in terms of Z, then it is called a H of Z. That's a conversion over. A simple step. But only thing is you may have to simplify this. So minus 3 divided by 2 into 1 minus Z inverse plus 3 into 1 plus Z inverse whole divided by 1 plus Z inverse. That is what I took LCM. Then if it goes to the numerator, the result will be minus 3 into 1 plus Z inverse divided by 2 into, if you just multiply, I can even directly write it as 2 into 1, 2, minus 2 z inverse, plus 3, plus 3 z inverse, okay. So, if you just put it inside, the result will be minus 3 plus, minus 3, uh, minus 3 z inverse divided by 2 plus 3 will be 5, uh, plus z inverse, okay. This is nothing but your H of Z. Okay, that is the final answer. But most of the time, uh, the denominator's first term will be 1 because it is a poles. Poles are responsible for stability. This denominator's first term should not be a constant. That constant value should be 1. Why? We will see in the direct form 1, direct form 2 later. Okay, this term has to be 1 if that is the case. How to convert everything divided by 5 automatically will become 1. So, if you divide everything by 5, then your final answer H of Z will be 3 by 5 will be minus 0.6 minus 0.6 Z inverse divided by 1 plus 0.2 Z inverse. Am I right? So, this will be the final answer 1 plus. Let us start with the complicated and one of the biggest problem in filter design. Okay, we are going to do a digital filter design. So, take down design. A digital Butterworth filter design, a digital Butterworth filter for the following specifications. For the following specifications, copy down. Is less than or equal to 0.2 for. 0 less than or equal to omega less than or equal to uh, 0.2 pi 0.85 less than or equal to omega less than or equal to pi okay and this is the digital omega which is there from minus pi to plus pi i have given only the positive sets use bilinear transform for the conversion use bilinear transform for the conversion okay very complicated okay. very complicated okay. and it's going to take a hell lot of time uh, this is uh, in a different value and this is in a different value and do you remember this is not in db if they mention they will give db this is not in db first term in case if it is whole square it is watts now even whole square is also not there then it is in voltage okay that knowledge you should have then, if I try to plot this particular graph, 1 here, 0 here, recall, this is 1 in terms of voltage. If you would like a log of 1, then it will be 0 dB. Okay, don't forget. 
Now, if I just recall these values, 0.2 pi is here, 0.85 pi is here, the last value is pi, it is not infinite, it is a pi. Then, between 0.85 pi to pi, in this region just 0.2, this is one higher value, just 0.2 lower value. Between 0 to 0 0.2 pi, it is very high value, that is more than 80 percentage, okay? it is a very high value. Then obviously if you try to join, it is a low pass filter, very good. So we have it mentioned in the question, it is a low pass filter and this value is 0.8 and this value is 0.2 and do remember they haven't mentioned the value then magnitude then it comes under voltage okay and if it is square means if they haven't mentioned square like this then it is a power right now it is just a voltage that knowledge you should have first term. next since it is uh, in the positive side this should be pass band okay and this should be star band because we understood from the graph then this should be omega p and this should be omega s. These are all basic fundamental knowledge. Next, what is now AP? AP is nothing but 20 log of 0.8. AS is nothing but 20 log of 0.2. Sir, how comes the 20 log? If it is magnitude, then it is 20 log. In case if the position they might have given square, then you might have you have to take 10 log. Right now it is 20 log. That is the first important trouble. Then the result will be minus 1.938 decibels. Please uh, uh, carefully do it with your calculator. Minus 13.979 decibels. Okay. This is AP and EAS. And this is the first issue. Second issue, they have given digital frequency because it is radium. Okay, they have given digital frequency. To do analog design, I need omega P. Am I right? I need omega P. Then the formula will be pre-warping formula 2 by t into tan of omega p by 2. And omega s is equal to 2 by t into tan of omega s by 2. Okay. So t value is not given. Make it as 1. If they are given, you have to take that. Omega p value is try to substitute as 0.2 pi here. Okay. This omega p should be uh, 0.2 pi. And this omega s should be uh, 0.85 pi. Okay. Keep the calculator in radial mode because pi symbol is coming as it is. So this will be 0.65 radians per second and this will be 8.33 radians per second. Okay, Don't forget this omega p formula is very important. We need it in the step 3 that is in the last stage. Okay. So with this now let us enter given data is ready okay so this is nothing but given data and this is nothing but given graph okay these are all uh, we discussed very long back okay so now with this let us enter into uh, step one okay step one is nothing but conversion a what is that conversion a always it should be prototype low pass filter and this will be one and this will be omega s you should know always it should be omega p is equal to 1. Omega s is equal to omega s dash divided by omega p dash. I might have given a simple idea. Bigger number by the smaller number. So 8.33 divided by 0.65. The result will be 12.82. Uh, Try to calculate. There is no unit because the unit radians per second get cancelled. Okay. So with this data let us start the design that is the name but step two okay make a pass and careful with these calculations don't do any mistakes now, what is step two step two is nothing but design what is the design data please careful a p minus 1.938 db a s minus 13.979 Omega P1, Omega S is 12.82, okay, and don't forget this 0.65, I need in the later stages, okay, please don't forget. Anyhow, I am ready with design data. So, what are the calculations we have to do? Careful, order N you should calculate, you know the formula, try to do that, carefully with minus symbols, the result you will be getting 0.75, 
seven three five six round up value one because the highest value order to order n is equal to one and omega c is equal to omega p divided by at the time omega p you should take one careful uh, I will I would like if you want I would like to mention ten power minus point two one a p minus one to the power one by two n and this value is one because of this one and this order is one because of that okay careful with your calculations in the calculator so result will be 1.33 next you would like to go for k value k value is 0 1 2 3 up to 2 n minus 1 2 into 1 2 minus 1 is 1 so 0 1 theta naught theta 1 you should calculate s naught s 1 you should calculate and you try to do it will be minus pi and plus pi and this will be minus 1 and plus 1 and if you try to plot uh, the graph will be like this and this is s naught and this is s1 then the stable pole is nothing but s naught therefore what is your h of s tell me 1 divided by s plus 1 because if you tick this side it will be s plus 1 ready so that is the end of your step 2 next i would like to go for step 3 is nothing but conversion b where s become S by omega C omega P because what is the design filter is always low pass filter what is always low pass filter what is given is also low pass filter for low pass filter to low pass filter this is the formula S divided by careful my dear omega C is the calculation value 1.33 omega P is not this fellow that is the question I told that is 0.65 am I right so if you try to calculate it will be S divided by 0.86 then uh, I am ready with the formula. So remove s, yes, replace by that value. So that h of s yes will be 1 divided by s yes divided by 0 0.86 plus 1. So if you take LCM and if you bring to the numerator, s yes plus 0 0.86. Okay, this is your analog filter. So please make sure that this is your h of s. Yes. And who is analog filter is nothing but circuit. And I don't want a circuit, I need a program. Program means flowchart. That flowchart design I will teach you after this particular topic. That is the end of this particular module. Now I am going for step 4 is nothing but S to Z conversion using bilinear transform. What is the formula? S is nothing but 2 by T into 1 minus Z inverse by 1 plus Z inverse. T value is not given so automatically it will be 1. So, where and all, yes, replace by this particular formula. If you do 1, that is sorry, 0.86 divided by, instead of this S, 2 into 1 minus Z inverse by 1 plus Z inverse plus 0.86. If it is S, it is H of S. Once you remove S yes and replace by Z, then it will be H of Z. Then you take LCM and if you bring to the numerator, 0.86 into 1 plus Z inverse divided by 2 into 1 minus Z inverse plus 0.86 into uh, 1 plus Z inverse. Okay. Try to do all these particular LCM calculations. The result will be 0.86 plus 0.86 Z inverse divided by uh, 2.86 minus 1.14 z inverse the last problem also i told the denominators first term constant should be always one okay don't forget so divide everywhere by 2.86 okay divide everywhere by 2.86 so if you divide by uh, divide by 2.86 careful the result will be uh, let us say 0.3 i just round off plus 0.3 z inverse divided by it should be 1 guarantee minus 0.3 and 9 8 z inverse okay so this is your last answer of this particular problem so this answer is an analog filter design this answer is a digital filter design using bilinear transform careful my dear this answers diagram is circuit this answers diagram is a program its diagram is a circuit, its diagram is a 
program. That means its diagram is a box. Inside the box, HRS is a circuit. This diagram is a box. Inside the box, HRZ is a program. That program is nothing but a flow chart. What is that flow chart? We will see in the uh, next session. Okay. Just make a note of that. Thank you.